Hurricane Ian is one of the most deadly storms to ever strike Florida. It killed more than 120 people, mostly with record high levels of storm surge that reached 15 feet in places like Fort Myers Beach. While South Florida was spared this time, the powerful hurricane was a reminder of the risks we face, especially on island communities like Miami Beach. So what we saw uh, with Fort Myers and Hurricane Ian was really, I think, humbling for all of us. We know that that could have been Miami uh, very easily. And I, I do think we are fortunate that we have this dune system, we have our renourished beaches, we've enacted a lot of land use regulations, and we have strong building codes. Um, but that being said, it's it's very concerning because our building stock is older. Um, some of it is. We have newer building stock that is built much more resiliently. Um, but overall, you know, we know that we are vulnerable, and I, you know, I'm very happy that we are investing, and I think we are on the right path. So we have two really important projects that are happening right now on Miami Beach to help fortify um, the beaches as well as the dune system. Um, the Army Corps estimates about 1.2 million tons of sand in each of the four segments that they're renourishment. And that essentially means they're bringing down sand um, in trucks from Central Florida. And it's a sand that is safe for the sea turtles and it's a high quality sand. Um, and then they actually are dumping that sand out with their contractors and spreading it out um, very carefully. And it is actually extending the beach from about 25 to 30 feet to about 90 feet into the water. Um, in addition to that, we are re-nourishing um, our dune system. So we're adding in new plants. We just received a million dollar grant from the state of Florida to add in more vegetation and to, to fortify it as well. And we're continuing that analysis. So we're addressing this from all fronts. 